Hey guys, welcome to Zep Collector 98 and today I'm here to show you many different types of tropical fruits that I found in an Asian market today. I have three different types of bananas here. One, I think I think this is called the burrow banana if I'm not mistaken. And one thing that I find funny is these two are actually fused together. But uh, burrow bananas are a little bit more stockier and they're kind of boxy-like. So correct me if I'm mistaken. And these are just the mini bananas. They're like the regular Cavendish, but they're a smaller version of it. And then here, these are called the apple bananas or the manzano bananas. I love these things, and that's why we got so many of them. And they were prominent all over Hawaii, and I think that's where they naturally grow. And they actually do kind of taste like candy-like, so sort of like an apple, I guess, not more or less. But um, so yeah, it's sweet a little tart but it has a good combination of flavors and then next I've been waiting for this for a long time this is the Buddha's hand also known as the citron and so looks like this and there's a little uh, little protrusion coming out the center right there but I like to think of it, it looks more like an octopus or tentacles although octopus only have eight tentacles but yeah so it's like yellowish and Apparently, it's not as um, bitter or sour as a regular lemon, although it's related to that family of citrus. People often candy it or make it for dishes. And then I have the persimmon. This is the Fuyu variety. And this is part of the blossom right here. And I'll show you how to cut that open later. I'm not, I'm not actually going to cut open this Buddhist hand today only because I'm not sure how to do it but I'm gonna find out how to make like make something with it because it was uh, seven dollars for this fruit so it is not cheap in any way and then the last fruit I have is it's something related to the uh, rambutan or the lychee this is the longan so it's l-o-n-g-a-n I thought it was l-o-n-g-o-n but it's longan something like that but it's sort of related to those two other fruits and tastes pretty similar to it I think. I haven't actually tried it yet so I'm uncertain but I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna first start out with these burrow bananas or so I think. I'm not gonna mess with this one yet because it's sealed together. So I'll peel one of these guys off. I didn't actually get to try one of these in Hawaii so I mean I'm sure they grow there but I, I didn't see any around so very excited to try one now. Mm. <laughs> having a bit of a dick difficulty so I'm gonna just score it right along the stem make it up wow that is very difficult to peel it's really fibrous that's interesting oh it looks weird too yeah it's like really fibrous it's not really easy to peel at all guys it's weird too because all these bananas are miniature, like they're really small compared to the regular Cavendish variety that I'm used to eating and that you guys are used to eating also. So this is what it looks like. It's actually really weird looking. It's like really smooth and shiny and kind of greasy looking. But let's try it. Hmm. That is weird. It's like chalky kind of. It's a little more firm than the regular banana. I mean, I think they're definitely ripe enough, if, if, as you guys can tell. So that's not an issue. I mean, hmm. Towards the center of the, like the fruit, it's like, there's like solids in it and I don't like that. It's like a mix of textures, so interesting. It's like the center is like towards the core, it's just more hard and I don't really like it. So that's what it looks like. I definitely wouldn't t pick this as my top priority banana to eat if I, were ha if I had to. I would still pick the regular Cavendish variety. But it's interesting, you know, nice to try different fruits, see if you like them or not. And then I'm going to move to the mini bananas. So this is like the regular Cavendish variety, but they're just smaller. I think these are actually like the ones where you see the dwarf banana varieties, where you can get the ones that grow in your house and you can get them to fruit. I'm pretty sure that these are them. 
All right. Well, I just peeled it off and it came right off the stem. So, whoa. What the heck? The banana's like yellow. I wonder if it's a plantain. It's so weird, like, I mean, it wasn't that hard to peel, but look, it's like, it's yellower. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but here's, see the difference? It's like really yellow. It looks like a plantain when you peel it open. Really yellow too, it's like mango yellow on the inside. Hmm. That's good. That is really good, actually. It's like more flavorful than the regular bananas. This is awesome. Hmm. Way better than the burrow bananas, by far. All right, guys. Moving on to the Manzano or apple bananas, where they were prominent all over Hawaii. I mean, it, it does say apple on it, too, so I can verify that. The ones in Hawaii were bigger, though, which is kind of weird. These are quite a bit smaller, so... Yeah. Hmm. Sort of dissatisfied with that. Ones in Hawaii were way better. Hmm. These sort of taste just like regular bananas to me. I'm not getting a, like a whole lot of that apple or candy like tartness that I'm looking for. But sort of when I eat it, the seeds inside, even though it, does, it doesn't look like there's that many, there is a slight crunch to it on the inside, which I kind of like that texture. Unlike with the burrow bananas, where the inside was more like chalky and hard. So yeah, that's it's a little weird, but it's all right. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the persimmon now. So from what I've learned to do is you cut it on the way you cut it this way down, but you don't want to cut all the way through because then you can just peel off this flour residue easily. And I will do that right now. Hopefully I don't cut all the way through. Okay. So I'll, I've cut this, not all the way through. And then you go like this. So you peel it apart. So one side's completely disconnected from the fruit or from the flower. And then you just take it. Oh, it's a little difficult. And then you just kind of peel it away. There you go. So you throw that away, you don't eat it at all. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cut it into wedges like a tomato. And don't worry about this part, you guys, you can eat that, don't worry. And there are no seeds in it also, which is another great thing. I have tried persimmons before, but the other variety I had was an astringent variety. I know there's a couple different types. This one's the sweet variety, and the astringent variety is like really dry. It makes your tongue really dry and it's nasty. It's not even that sweet, I didn't think. So I'm gonna cut it into slices like a tomato. Well, attempt. <laughs> okay. So, come on. All right, so here's a slice. Well, that's really good, actually. Here's a slice of the persimmon. And with the skin, you guys can eat it, but it's a little tough, and apparently it's bitter, so I'm just gonna avoid the skin completely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel it, not, not try to peel it off, I'm gonna cut around it. Oh, look at this, this is interesting to note. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little bit of like the brownish specks on the fruit. Looks kind of like cinnamon. Like someone sprinkled cinnamon on it. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I'm going to take the knife, peel around the fruit. Sort of left a lot on there, but that's all right. I'll get that later. So here's the fruit, and let's try it. Hmm. 
I don't know how to explain that, but it's actually really good. Weird. It's like, like in a good way weird, but kind of like brown sugary almost. It's really like maple-y, like not like maple flavored, like when you have maple syrup, but it's just really nice, like caramelized. That's the word I'm looking for. It's caramelized. So like caramely. All right, let's move on to the long guns. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Because apparently people have criticized me for saying dragon wrong. There you go, dragon. Not dragon, dragon. All right, oh, by the way guys, when I was at the Asian market, the guy said that they do get in jackfruit occasionally and he said that he's getting it in within another week or two. So hopefully I'll be able to obtain some of that. Um, it's quite a large fruit as you can imagine, so don't know if I'm going to be able to get a whole one or a quarter or a piece of one, but it will get it to work. Alright, so when you... okay, what the heck. There's a bunch of branches that the fruit is connected to, so I'm going to just kind of pull it out, like peel the bag around the fruit. Like I've seen pictures of this fruit and they leave it connected to the branches. I guess it just must be easier to leave it in that form. So, see? So I'm just gonna pick one off. And the shell, you don't, it looks like it'd be a hard like nut but it's uh, actually, when you squeeze it, it's a little, it's firm, but you can tell there's some give to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half, just for ease. There is a seed in the center. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's actually really hard to cut. Okay. So this is what the inside looks like. And Pull, pull out that piece of the seed, so this is what it looks like still. Don't forget I have the skin on it. What I'm gonna do is it comes out really easily. You can just peel it away, sort of like a lychee. The lychee skin just peels off right away too like that. So here we have it. Let's try it. Does taste very similar to the lychee in the rambutan. But, I would say I prefer the lychee or the rambutan over the long gun. And my reason behind that is the long gun tastes more fermented. And, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but it's not my favorite. So, yeah, it's just, it's a little weird. It's fermented, like that has that flavor, but I think it's easier to peel than a lychee or a rambutan because with the lychee, when you peel it, you get like the seed coat skin that sticks to the flesh that you want to eat. And to me, that's a little less desirable just because the texture is a little weird versus with the long on, the seed peels away nice and easily and there's not any issue with that because it's a smooth seed. And on the rambutan or the lychee, the seed is rough, kind of like papery, and it's just weird. So, um, I was not able to obtain any mangosteen. The produce manager wasn't able to get it in. So that was a little unfortunate, but we'll move on. And hopefully I'll come um, with another video about the jackfruit and show you guys what it tastes like, what it looks like, and how to open it. It does taste like juicy fruit bubble gum, if you guys are wondering. And no, that's not made up. It literally does taste like juicy fruit. I had some in Hawaii. And also, my my passion fruit vine has like eight flower buds on it, and one of them is about an inch long. So it'll be flowering within the next week or two, and I'll be back with another video. Thank you guys for watching.